Welcome to another Wollongong Himalayan production. Today we're going to be looking at fitting up the Redbox ECU as supplied by Himalayan Tools, available on their website. I'll put a link in the notes. And um, yeah, we're going to have a look at that. This bike's already been fitted with the performance camshaft from Himalayan Tools, a Delcovic exhaust. Uh, it's had a uh, snorkel modification. And as you can see, this bike is currently fitted with a Powertronic. So here we have the red box. We've got the map switch. Currently got the red box hooked in through USB into my laptop. And I've got the NMW racing software loaded up. And this is the software that we'll use to fit the red box up and get it going on the tool. Because I've got a Powertronic fitted, I'm also going to be using the Powertronic um, testing unit. So basically you use this when you wire the Powertronic in and this just shows you that all the um, sensors and whatnot are working. Um, this is useful because I'm going to take out the factory ECU, which is located down in here. That's the diagnostic connector. I have a connector for that. It's interesting to note that the diagnostic system, so the OBD2 protocol is not supported by the red box. Um, it is supported by the factory ECU and obviously then the piggyback just works off the Powertronic. So we'll just get, um, we'll get the ECU extracted out from here. We'll get this um, bypass unit. Um, we'll get the test unit plugged in instead of the Powertronic. And then we'll go through how we load up the software on the Himalayan Tools Red Box, and then I'll show you how we go about fitting the Red Box in there. So now I have all three ECU sitting on the bench. So I have the Red Box ECU, the Powertronic piggyback, and the little tiny factory ECU out of the Himalayan. That's uh, also the map switch for the Red Box there. Um, you'll note that um, they're very similar in size between the Powertronic and the Red Box, but the Red Box is significantly bigger. The only challenge is, is making it fit really neatly into the bike, um, but I'll show you how to do that momentarily. So we've got our test connector hooked in. So that's now taken the Powertronic out of the, um, out of the equation. So what I'm gonna show you now is, as I said, um, I've got the Red Box already hooked up to my laptop. So now all we have to do is we go through and we read the current setting. Sorry, better actually connect to the ECU. ECU connect. Um, try again. ECU connect. So I might just close this down and come back. Okay, so this is how we set up the red box ECU. So the first thing we do is we come across and we click. So now we're connected. You can see the gauges have changed. Um, everything is now set up and ready. It's talking. So I'm going to read the current software that I have sitting on here. And that's what I have currently set on there. Now this particular program is one that I've already loaded on. Um, this has all the settings for a, um, a 411cc Himalayan with performance camshaft and Delcovic. This is direct from NNW Racing. I have my own particular version of this file that I've been quietly working away on. Um, but for uh, all intents and purposes, we're just going to use the NMW 411 Rich, uh, which is also available from the um, Himalayan Tools Himalayan Forum in the software download. So we're just going to set up and use that particular file today. So if I was gonna change the file, all I would have to do is go and hit open and then pick whichever file I particularly wanted, um, bring that up on the screen, um, make any modifications I wanted to make. And then all you have to do, you've got a choice. You can either send the current um, file that you're working on. So if you've only been playing around with one particular file out of all of the four, because you obviously have four different options. Um, otherwise you can hit uh, 
send all and it'll burn all of them to the ECU. So I'm going to fit the ECU up now and I'll show you how it sits in the um, position in the bike. Now I have the red box fitted. You can see it sits in there, it butts up against the fuse box there. I've tucked the diagnostic connector further down the back. I've obviously got loom for the powertronic and I've also got my cables which go to the um, setup inside here where I have all of my fuses for my um, power bus for the bike. I'll just take that out of the way. So you can see it fits in there. It's it's larger than the other one so it occupies a bit of room. Um, if you don't have the air box in, so I know some people have got just the um, k and air filter fitted. So if you don't have the air box in, there's obviously a lot more space, but it still sits there neatly and the seat gets out of the way. So I'm still connected up. So the next step is to start the bike up. So what I'm going to do is I'll explain it because it's it's quite loud. Obviously, I'm in the garage um, and I have a, a very um, small exhaust fitted. I have the little Delcovic 225mm can. So um, what has to be done is basically you start the bike and then we have learn throttle valve so you just follow the instructions there and um, obviously with the bike running and then it's um, sorted out so I'm going to do that now um, but it's going to be a bit loud so you'll just hear it but you won't actually hear me talk Still a bit cold. So I've mounted the map selector switch for the red box just in my little fuse thing here with my bus. As you can see, you can turn it on, you can switch through the maps. That's currently map one. Um, yeah, and then if you need to change maps the switch is protected under there and yeah you just lift the seat off change maps as I said I'm developing on one map at the moment but when I expand out to different maps I'll just um, lift the seat up to change over and then I can read my AFR and do my logging etc so what we're going to do now is we're going to do the uh, throttle learn process on the uh, Himalayan tools red box ECU so I've got the red box fitted. You can see it's fitted in there neatly. Still got the cable connected to the interface. Currently on map two. So we're just gonna start the bike and um, do the throttle learn process. So what you actually do is you go to learn throttle valve. You click on this and it'll tell you to blip it max to minimum more than three times all right so it's going to be loud so i just thought i'll show you that right now so i'm going to start the bike up and we'll do that so. <laughs> As you can see it's pretty easy to do the throttle learn process um, just had a couple of issues there the um, the bike's still cold but it's fired up it's running nicely now so that's running on map 2 that's a slightly modified version of the NNW uh, racing map the Himalayan rich map um, I just uh, tweaked the idle a little bit it was just running a little bit a touch rich at idle 
Um, but yeah, that's all been sorted out now. So now I'm going to fit up the map switch and I'll just show you changing between the maps. So oh, before we do that, I'll just show you that we've got the, uh, the live tune state. You would have seen it running um, just then. You see all the gauges. So it's quite a powerful tool. You can do on the fly changes, um, real time programming. So you just change a parameter and um, down the bottom here, you select the cells you want to modify. Um, and that can be, in this case, we've got um, fuel injection, we've got the degrees of uh, timing, uh, where the ignition timing is set up. Um, there's a whole lot of stuff you can set up here that I'm not going to bore everyone with right now. Um, but the uh, basic setup comes on uh, already installed on the red box, comes already installed with whatever uh, mapping uh, parameters that you decide to put on there, but I'm sure Himalayan Tools can load up a map for you to get going. Um, and then, as I said, you can do real-time mapping and uh, you can do on the dyno, you can tune it. Um, you can tune it while you're out and about if you carry a small laptop with you. So it's quite a powerful little program there. Um, this map table, as you can see, goes up to 15,000 RPM, but I've actually got that set in the options section i've got that set to 7000 rpm um, which is my chosen red line there um i can't see this bike running at 15000 rpm for very long that's for sure so yeah that's all set up now that's the easy way to fit the uh himalayan tools red box ecu and as you can see tucks neatly in there um the maps map switch i'll tuck underneath the seat um i'm not going to run it all the way up the top because i'm permanently going to run it on this particular map um, and then use this map for developing a further map so um, I'll be just taking off my seat if I need to switch maps to another one that I've developed well thank you very much for watching and uh, I hope this was of value to all of you